Hello everyone and a very interesting episode today because we're finally going to interview an artist and he's the same person who builds all my African instruments. So I'll let him introduce himself. So let's drive to Pretoria. I mean to Tswane. My name is Farai Machingambi, uh, I'm also known as Rasfado, <laughs> yes, uh, and I'm also known as Matake. Yeah, Matake, which is uh, coming from our clan name, um, uh, which has got two meanings, the one who squashes and the one who beats. Yeah, so um, in the process of making biras, we, 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 we beat biras, we hammer them with a hammer on a flat surface of a rail steel. Yes, um, I've been making musical instruments, mostly biras and marimbas, for over 20 years now. I started when I was still in Zimbabwe, then I moved to South Africa during the uh, political turmoil in Zimbabwe, just to uh, further uh, pursue my career as a musical instrument manufacturer. So, now uh, in a nutshell, um, I'm an entrepreneur who loves creating uh, things from, you know, from scratch, from my hands using my hands and using also power tools and, and machinery so um i really love what i do and so so making instrument for me or making even uh furniture and restoration of furniture as well i do that so um, the feeling of just the feeling you have when you make your own thing it's it's just phenomenal so it's a culmination of my dreams of my experiences as a person that i put in in a product you see like like i make it if i never play the the tone that comes from there it's it resonates you know with me with everything that revolves around me my specialty is african instruments uh, mainly because i'm an african so uh, and, and I really love being an African and I promote African and I do believe that as an African uh, child or African brother, father, grandfather, um, African person, it's very important that we uh, encourage the importance of making African instruments because they play our own music. So by playing our own music, we restore our identity you know, is Africans, because it's who we are. That's our cultural identity, yeah. And uh, going back, you know, long ago, um, our forefathers, they were not consumers at some point. You know, they used to make their own things. If we trace um, the, the operations at Mapungugwe, which is the predecessor of Great Zimbabwe, they used to 
to make all this jewelry from gold, to, from clay, you know, and they would trade with other uh, people from uh, overseas, you know. Yeah, before people were brainwashed, before people were colonized. Now, most people are consumers in Africa, but we produce most of the raw materials. And then later, we, we rely on the, some of the byproducts of these things, we, which, which is saddens me, you know, which is, is, is not uh, like, you know, okay. It would be great for, 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 for us to, to, to have the same understanding, the same vision, the same knowledge to say that, okay, guys, we can create these things. It's, in, it's, it's embedded in our DA. We've got resources. The soil is ours. We've got everything is here. So um, that's why. So my focus in, on, on African instruments also, it goes even beyond that, uh, the business aspect of it. It's also spiritual. You know, uh, we, we meditate using these instruments. It's, it's easier. And we even sing using our own language, which is easier an easier way of expressing oneself, you know. Um, to, to a certain point that even uh, some people when they want to uh, communicate with their ancestors to appease their ancestors they would take the mpira or they take the drum djembe, uh, meropa, ngoma when they play that then it's, it's much easier unlike playing a piano or playing you know a, a guitar it's something totally far 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 away from our, our identity and reality My influences, uh, things started from just uh, when, when I got to know the instrument in, uh, themselves, the sound, it started with the sound, you know, by just hearing the sound, I was drawn to it and say, oh, this sound really so cool. But then later also the influence uh, well grew when I met other people. I was so uh, lucky that I was gifted my first Mbira instrument by my sister, Joanna Machingambi. She's a spirit medium in our, in our family and in our region. So she gave me the first Mbira and then, yo, I was so happy. I didn't even know how to play it. I didn't even know how to tune it. Yeah, so um, then I made also friends, uh, Innocent Mteti and uh, Fungai Mteti. They also gave me that um, um, influence and Rafael Morisi in Masingo, so uh, those are some of the people, and my, my parents as well, my father and, and mother, they played a very important role. Even at first, they were really, uh, in a way, like criticizing it at first, but later they gave me a, a really a good support. So yeah, other, other involvement, um, okay, as an entrepreneur, um, I'm not only boxed in just making and 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 uh, instruments, and so I do perform, and also I do I do teach. Uh, I work with schools. I've worked with Ituteng uh, Art and Organization um, that uh, been funded just to to work on programs where we go around schools in uh, Art Richfield and Lotus Gardens. Yeah training the uh, learners on how to play the instrument and the importance also of uh, playing and uh, preserving our, our culture. And so I, I also um, work with other musicians in studios, uh, recording. Uh, so, so I'm very versatile. I don't play only traditional uh, music. I, I play, you know, abstract music, so avant-garde, jazz, yeah, anything, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not boxed because for me music has got infinite uh, I mean uh, opportunities yeah um, so what I really uh, hope to achieve in the near future uh, it could be five years ten years is just to uh, to see more of African people embracing these um, instruments these African indigenous musical instruments you know in schools so that almost every school in Africa but that's a little more like a bigger, bigger dream. But of course, you have to start with our surroundings in our communities. 
like now currently I'm, I'm based here in, in Itwane uh, we I hope to see that most of the schools here they will have their marimba or ambira and they can even have orchestras you know so whereby people will also compose their own songs you know stuff like that and we have even libraries of uh, these uh, African instruments whereby one can just go in a library to say I, I want to read like one would go and read a book you can go and read a book about Mbira and even they play that Mbira there also you've got that you know so there's so so many things even also to to have these instruments fit within the the, the current situation of um, technology the current advancement we have with this metaverse so Either way, one could go and in the VR, virtual reality, wear those glasses, you know, go being transported, being in, in, in a space of uh, in, infinite space with the Mbira instrument playing wherever you go, whether you, you see animals there, you go wherever you go. Yeah, but culture, but. I'm sure with uh, the technology that we have, we'll find, we'll find a way to, to, to balance it. Yeah, during this uh, time of the pandemic, things are really a bit tough, you know. Uh, tough on the basis that even yourself as a bitter maker, as a business person, even if you're okay, but if the other person is not okay, who, who is the person who's going to buy from you? then you are to affect, you are likely to be affected and yeah so it, it's it's been really hard but I, I I'm, I'm I'm grateful in a way that I'm still doing what I love um, given that uh, I'm still uh, having clients you know even though it's not a lot of clients like like before before COVID yeah um, but also that's why now we are um, having our other divisions of saying we're not only focusing on making musical instruments now because uh, for now it's it's like a luxury so somebody around this time they, they will have to look at their priorities of which music now is considered as a luxury whereas other necessities are food and stuff so, so we are saying if you can you know as, as, a, as a business person if you can go also into food, as long as you still do whatever you want. So we are also looking at other options, We're trying to explore other things. That's why now we have ventured also into furniture restoration and manufacturing of furniture. Because focusing on music instruments alone now is really not viable. So, and in terms of also getting funding, um, yeah, like funders also, they, they want to fund you when they know that there's a return on investment. It's not easy just to fund. Usually they fund you when there is a demand. But how do you get create demand in 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 a in a environment whereby COVID has really destabilized the economy? So it becomes very tricky. That's why one needs to be innovative and find other ways and also have a team. Usually and mostly as um, uh, you know like uh small enterprises we usually like your one man solo you are doing the accounting you're doing the pr you're doing you know uh, human resources so so when when you are lucky or you're fortunate at the right time you find a team that you can work with and that's much better so even now my challenge before i used to do a one man show usually in my in my workshop one man solo but uh recently i i I got uh, somebody to help me with work. It becomes so easy in terms of the turnaround. So, yeah, if 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 I were to to deliver in a space of two weeks, if I have somebody who is helping me, we can deliver in a space of a week. On on religion per se, um, maybe let's try to identify where the. The, the term religion is coming from you know um so during my readings a few reads that i had before i found out that uh, religion the word religion is a greek term uh, yeah before it used to be called religion i'm not i'm not sure i'm pronouncing the word correctly but it's coming from religion which means linking you know linking so in in, in this uh, for, for instance, so linking could be that 
if I have to connect with you in a way, we are linking. Same applies to people who believe in God, who believe in ancestors, who believe in maybe Buddha, or who believe in icons, who believe in statues. If there is that link, that means there's that, that, that's religion. That's how I understand it. So it could be I can believe also in music if it links me with the people, or I can just believe in just love if it links me with the, with the masses, with the universe. Yeah, so talking about also God or Satan, whether they exist, that's also very complex, you know, um, yeah, belief of which even even up to now, nobody can prove that. You have, you know, all your pastors, your bishops, none, none of us can prove that. But for me, even that's why there's some things that I also borrow from the Bible that are cool. Even though I don't have to necessarily believe in the Bible and everything that was written in the Bible or even believe in there is God or there is Satan. But what I, I believe that I'm, I'm existing now, you know, and I came through my parents, you know, I, I was conceived through them. And so if I have to honor anyone else before God, I have to honor my parents because like they brought me on this planet so i think if we are to start there before we will go even further to say okay there's this there's god there's what start with your parents because when you start with your parents that means you are those are the people that brought you here firstly so you were not created you were reproduced that's how i understand maybe the first people then they were created because as we say you are created it's, 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 it's a bit of a vague, it's not like, and then on spirituality, spirituality, I think for me, it goes with uh, your, your, your sixth sense or your sense or your heart and your, your, your brain combined together. So it's the, it's the same thing that makes you now being conscious. Maybe it's the same voice now that I'm using when I'm speaking. Maybe it's also that spirituality. Maybe it's the atoms you know, and cells that are, that makes this entire body. Maybe all these things, um, they're a bit complex, but for me, the, the way I, I try to understand them is that um, if, if, I, if I were to die now, I stop breathing in and breathing out. So meaning uh, that I, I'm, I'm gone. But the fact that there's the spirit that's going to go and maybe roam around or it's going to go to heaven or it's going to go to hell. Yeah, it's, it's still a bit like complex or even it's, yeah, it's maybe it's, it's not clear in a way. Uh, I think maybe your, your spirit, yeah, maybe it's just roams around or maybe the, the, the spirit, maybe it's the oxygen. I don't know. It's for me. It, yeah, it's it's all this whole spiritual thing. It's um. Yeah, it's it's difficult to understand. So how I define spirituality for me, um, it's just combination of my brain, my heart. You know, and so with, with the feelings and probably the sixth sense that are that I have of, of telepathy. Uh, for me, that's the spirit. If I know, okay, this what I'm doing is wrong, what I'm doing is right, that's my spirit. So one cannot really uh, separate spirit from your heart, your, and your soul, and your brain. It's, it's, for me, that's that spirit, that's one thing, because you know very well, to killing someone, there are consequences. Even stealing, there are consequences. So that's your spirit. But then you, you can also be entrapped in that same spirit with the thought and just do when they say that somebody's got an evil spirit you know it's possessed by evil spirit it's not like some spirit is going to come of course there are ways and thoughts that we receive but where when they you receive them where they enter they enter through your brains into your heart when same applies with a with a good heart with a good spirit you know holy spirit it's your deeds, your good deeds, or knowing how to live 
with other people. So back to religion. Religion is supposed to link us, but you can see the world is divided. It's not linking us. It's an unlink because none of these uh, churches will come together. It has failed because of greed, because of corruption, you know, because church elders, you know, some of them, they rap, some of them, they so much sodomize, they do all crazy things. So how could you link people in such an environment? You cannot link people in such an environment. So going back to uh, the word religion, is supposed to link us. So anything that links you, it's re religion. It's like if music is going to link you up, let it be your religion. If love is going to link you, of course, love should be the religion because it links you up. Universal love to knowing that, okay, this person, no matter our background, our cultural differences, but it's just a human being like me. So you get linked. But classism and everything and prejudice or some sort disconnects us. Uh, well, what I like to say to aspiring uh, African musicians or crafters uh, is just that consider uh, your art as a, as a business. That is, if you are expecting to get paid, you know. But because uh, and this this might be different also because these are artists are different. Because some some people that are into music or into art as a way of as a get away you know maybe they're stressed they just want to play you know and then people like them it's like wow you can come and play but for them some are healers you know some are healers like somebody can just pick up an instrument they play and people get healed you know yeah even like that that, that music or whatever that poem can just resonate with somebody people shed tears when people are performing on stage um Whereas uh, for some people, it's it's a hobby that that's not gonna take them anywhere. So I don't have any solution to each and everybody. We because we are so diverse. Yeah, but what I can say now, if you really wanna make it, you wanna make a killing, you wanna make money, consider it as a business. You must take yourself seriously. You must make get a point that. You have your socials on point, you've got your recordings, you've got somebody maybe to manage you, somebody to market you, you've got your PR, you've got, um, yeah, the work ethic, yeah, to say that if it's time to work, it's time to work. You can't be waking up in the morning, you've got guys coming, let's drink, let's have some doobie, you know, let's chill. So yeah, if, if you are want to go for business yeah so you really gotta also have some business stress yes also just do some uh, crash courses just learn about business as well yeah uh, I did also some uh, business short business course with uh, um, our way to project yeah just learning about um, market research stuff like that you know your target customers and understand the value chain as well so you might end up also cutting costs, whereas, you know, you're getting, for instance, you're getting timber from Mpumalanga, and when it comes here, somebody's transporting it. After being transported, you buy it from a retailer, then you start working on it, and then you get the wire from where, where, all those things you need to understand so that you can also get them even cheaper, or you can also control the, um, value chain as well and if you are gonna go the spiritual side of it which is also cool but still um you need to identify okay who is your target audience the demographics you need to know okay if you want to use it as a way of healing people are you gonna work with with children with shelters or with elderly with hospitals stuff like that but the music industry also it's it's broad, but monetizing it, that's where the challenge is. Yeah, for, for most of us, you're thinking, okay, if you're into music, it's a matter of having a gig, let's go and play. But it's broad, there's so many things you can do. You can be, just be a PR, and you know you're a musician, but you can also try something else, because you know that most of musicians, they face challenges that they cannot take their music to the next person. 
you know and maybe the market is flooded yes it is flooded because they are on uh, itunes or spotify every day there's 40,000 or 10,000 songs that are, are posted there every day but how do you find a niche there so you need to create a unique selling point you need to be different but also how do you attract you know your audience so yeah i think working with with a team and researching more it, it helps the correct name of our brand is called matake project yeah like this well there's no project but yeah it's just matake but the uh the the full name is called matake project yeah it was um yeah officially registered in 2014 in south africa so you can find us on facebook uh if you go to our page matake project store and you can also follow us on uh instagram matake underscore projects um and also uh, on on youtube matake project yeah and we've got a website uh, which is uh, www.matakeprojects.com yeah, for, for you to see also uh, um, most of the stuff that we do. But we, um, we, we, we like I, I was saying, um, I'm really n not a perfect as, as per se, but I'm also uh, learning to do better. That's why even now I'm really considering having um, a PR team to help me uh, scale my business because just doing alone on itself it's yeah it's a kill and also how do you divide yourself now because you're gonna work on a project then you are you are partially attentive because you have to be focused on the quality you need to check the quality control of your product at the same time you need to distribute so it becomes really a, a complex issue yeah, we're really working uh, hard. We need to try. Our website has been established now. It's been a couple of years or more. Yeah, but now, due to the nature of business nowadays during COVID, a lot of people are considering buying online, of which we need to up our game. And yeah, we really, I really need to, to, to have a team that will help me uh, get uh, the website running fully so you can just go it's, it's your online shop you go on our website go purchase like securely yeah it's secured so that I know because nowadays people use this advantage to scam people there's just online fraud and, and stuff like that so we really need to, to make it a point and assure our clients that when you go to Matake uh, website it's a safe environment where you can buy and your goods get delivered yeah, thank you.